All right, folks, welcome to Adobe Express. So this is Adobe's competitor to the program called Canva. So you can use it to create social media thumbnails, posters, graphic designs. It's a really useful tool. In fact, I've got video lessons just on how to use this product. But what we're going to be looking at here, you can just see all the things we can do here. Um, like create GIFs, we can convert PDFs, organize pages, even short videos. But what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the AI capabilities. Adobe's been trickling down different generative AI capabilities, first with Adobe Firefly, allowing you to create text to images, text effects, vectors, a lot more it's changing every week but they also release that capability into Adobe Photoshop in the form of generative fill but now they've released Adobe Express beta so you get this with your creative cloud suite which gives you access to all the apps in Adobe's platform such as Premiere Photoshop Lightroom and Adobe Express so now we see Adobe Beta. So if I click this, this is giving me the beta site, new.express.adobe.com. And you can see it looks very different. So I'm going to explore some of the different features of this platform to give you some inspiration, help you get started. So you can see as soon as you load it up, you see some images over here. and my approach is I like to reverse engineer images that I like. So you can see here in this this row here, text to image. So I can pretty much just type whatever I want to see. But if I like a particular art style, let's just click this. You can see the text description. So this is a new type of skill, being able to take and existing image and just modify it. It's not difficult. It just takes a little bit of practice. So I'm actually going to change this to a dog. But without changing it, you can already see in the bottom left, I can create variations over here. And actually in the main canvas, you have the ability to download it as a PNG, JPEG, or PDF. So JPEG's best for small sizes, PNG for best overall quality. And you can see here we have the ability to add additional things like videos, different pages, background colors. We're just going to be looking at the essential features. Okay, let's go back to this image here. So I just clicked on the image and I want to get back to this view. So. You can see here style. It doesn't have any particular style. I'm just going to leave that for now. But we saw there we can change the variations. Now, this is the magic here. Let's change the animal. That would be the easiest change here. So let's change it to a unicorn. Fluffy unicorn. So I like this art style. It's uh, It's like a Pixar type of quality. So there we go. We got some unicorns, pretty cute. This one's got a pig nose. So let's download this P, uh, JPEG. <coughs> and just save it, pony unicorn. There we go. So we like this art style. Now let's actually take a look at what this description says. 3D, adorable, reflective eyes, long fuzzy fur, 3D render, cinematic smooth, intricate detail cinematic. We need all that when we're creating this artwork. I'm actually going to copy this description here in case I lose it. I want to show you the different styles here. So we can, just by clicking on styles, we can create a whole different vibe. And once we click it, let's click generate. So it's generating a unicorn, but with a whole different vibe. 
let's select photo make it more realistic okay it's generating here in the bottom left actually not too much different let's try graphic palette knife so this should be drastically different maybe because of the description it's overriding the content style anyways let's uh, try something different let's do a puppy French bulldog puppy there we go that's pretty cute alright so I can see here that we are generating kind of different animals and pets in the same style. Let's try with a human and then we'll try a different style here. Um, pretty athletic woman. Okay, let's see what it comes up with. Interesting. It's still generating. Okay, this looks something out of a Disney movie and you can see we can load more. Now the thing about Adobe's assets is when you, you're creating something with these platforms, Adobe's digitally marking it so it can track it. If, um, let's just say you ever like decide to make some commercial um, type of video and people want to backtrack and say, hey, wait, did you create this or was it generated by AI? So that's happening behind the scenes, I believe. And this is still beta, right? So they're looking for a lot of feedback. And, you know, I think it's good to give them that feedback, especially during uh, the early stages. Okay, let's create something different here. Let's, let's start from scratch. Let's just say you want to create a YouTube thumbnail. All right, let's click on templates. Or maybe um, let's do... TikTok video or a reel. Let's do an Instagram reel. Let's just scroll through Lisbon, Portugal. Let's just start a new product. So I'm going to try to use the power of generative AI. Okay, so. What do we have here? Time lapse video black and white. All right, let's try. Now, I don't think we can generate videos with AI yet, but let me try it out. I'll click video and no, they don't have it yet. Audio, no. So let's just do a text to image. And what size are we doing? I believe this is vertical. So portrait. Okay. Colorful Portugal. Actually, let's paste that same description. 3D, let's just take out a lot of the descriptors that we don't need. 3D Portugal. I'm curious to see what it generates here. Oh, wow. 
Okay, this is completely different. So we can see here the tile. Except I probably should have done this differently. Okay, I'm going to show you the text effects in a second here. So I think we can layer this up. All right, just trying to figure out how we bring this up. Is it this one? Or maybe let's just create a text effect from scratch. Let's try to find the... Yeah, I deleted it. <coughs> Okay, let's crop this so we can at least see the bottom. I'm just freestyling here. Okay, enter. Square. Okay, did my crop work? A little bit. Okay. So now I want to do uh, AI generated text. So you can see here, same idea. We've got these um, templates. So I'm just going to find one with a filling that I like. This one looks interesting. And we'll just call it Lisbon. Lisbon. So we put the actual text we want over here. Let's load more. So this material actually doesn't stand out. I'm going to try do something rainbow color let's try that so it takes a little while to generate and I'm just gonna change what it says Lisbon still generating there we go. So let's just play this reel. Okay. So a reel is a little bit more involved because there's a lot of different elements to it. Okay, so let's change the text effect here. Blue and gold marble. Let's make it bigger. Okay, and then there's there's uh, a few more elements. You have two more scenes. Let's actually do a. Let's delete that. Create new media, text to image. Let's do widescreen. Coffee, black and white. Let's take a look at how artistic we can be. Okay, we didn't add the descriptors so this is what we end up with so we got to put cinematic 3d and i just my point is i want to show you how we can transform an Im image with different descriptions here
Okay, so look look at the difference here. It's taking a little while to generate. I think this is pretty good. Blends right in. Let's just delete that. Put that there. And then the last scene. Let's put um, Travelers. Traveling in an airport. There we go. So look how modern that is. Let's delete that. Yeah, I know it's not perfect, but uh, let's just play this back here. Off the top. So we've created our first AI generated Instagram reel using 3D. Now it's going to be super amazing when we get the text to video capabilities, which I think is coming soon. Let's just finish this off. Um, traveling. Let's just see what it comes up with. And then we'll finish this off by downloading the reel. Wow. This is AI generated. It's pretty amazing. There we go. We are done. Let's download this. MP4 is recommended. So MP4 is the video format. And um, yeah, then we can actually upload this to our, to our Instagram. But yeah, so just to summarize, Adobe Express is a part of the Adobe Creative Suite. And you have to click beta to access these new features. So in this video, we showcase text to image. We used a existing image, which we reverse engineered just by changing the description. And you saw how drastic the results, different the, the results are just with the description. So all the power is in the text prompt. It's known as prompt engineering. So we then went on to create a Instagram reel template. And we modified that using AI. And I'm just going to show you that and then we'll end this video. So some text effects. Left some of it there. I blended in the AI generated image and finished off with that. So. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on using Adobe Express Beta with AI features.